All right. Um. Afternoon, folks. Hope everyone's doing all right today. I believe I have resolved all of my networking issues we had over the weekend. Had a bad cable going to the modem. How's it going, Ryan? Afternoon, your cousin. So we're playing with, uh... This is basically the spider stack from the 100k this past weekend. So should be should be interesting. The change I made was I changed from the spider champion to the uh, I'm blanking on the fox's name, but um, it's the 25 life seven charge get an oracle song champion. And this has two benefits: one, it is more starting life, so you're a little bit uh, more resilient to the aggressive decks, and two, it also gives us kind of a disguise factor as to what we're playing in the first few turns of the game. Because when you show up with the spider champion, it's very obvious that that's what you're doing, and can allow your opponent to make mulligan decisions based on that. So I think uh, changing a champion to something that's uh, pretty pretty reasonable is uh, is a reasonable change. This deck's been around for a while, it just like happened to to pop up at the uh This happened to pop up there. Man, I just finished off two gauntlets like right away. Uh we're just playing hex for now. I want to try out the spider deck from the 100k invitational that they just had. So, the plan for this afternoon is some hex. Maybe we'll get some magic this evening, but I want to at least play most of this with this deck. Waiting to queue, waiting to queue. Hi ho, the Cheerio, waiting to queue. What's better in hex? I mean, they're they're different games. Like they have they have similarities, but uh, the main thing that I'd say is better about hex is that it's able to implement uh, digital only digital only mechanics. Like uh, the spider deck that we're playing, for instance, um, has 
has two leverages, two mechanics that are just like basically impossible in Magic. The first is that the spider mechanic puts eggs into your opponent's deck, so then when your opponent draws them, uh, you get an effect when your opponent draws your eggs. And then, um, in addition to that, you also uh, have uh, socket, socketed uh, cards which you upgrade and change with gems from match to match. So the Azure Sorceress is part of the combo that uh, mills your opponent out when they have enough eggs in their deck um, is socketed, so it has mill gems in it. How's it going, Killian's Red? Uh, how's the how's the audio today? I'm using a different uh, different headset, so is the audio level level all right? And the quality too, I guess. Level and quality. And hey look, we're playing against an aggressive champion, so having access to some more life is good. I would like to play first. Uh, this this is essentially the audio is good. Great. Uh, this is essentially the 100k, the 100k spider deck. I uh, I changed one card. I added a second time ripple. Yeah, I I, uh, I got a I got a new desk and everything all set up. So this seems a little resource heavy, but uh, arcane focus gives us some selection. Hope everyone's doing all right today. We're gonna play some some spiders this afternoon. Oh right, I don't have the sub counter on here, do I? And I think we're at sixty-seven. So let me edit text. Uh, So the combo in the deck is um, you have a card called uh, Fentio that um, we have a card called Fentio that puts uh, tarantula eggs into our opponent's deck, and then um, the Azure Sorceress uh, when she comes into play, she gives creatures that come into play. A, the copies of her effect and she has a mill gem in here so when your opponent has a bunch of eggs in their deck and then you play the you play the azure sorceress with the mill gem your tarantulas then also mill so you just mill and mill and mill oh, we're just gonna grab the sweeper here basically just like looking for spells so turn off my ready face stop because I don't need that in this deck some pretty old games, yep. Yep, we're still at 67 for the sub goal, so we're getting close. Picking up a few a day, which is great. Keep on can tripping. Again, just going to keep grabbing the spells. I'm just going to play out Sapphire for now, again, just like not giving away information about what exactly we're doing to our opponent. So next turn we have Kill and Counter Magic up. Opponent's playing the blue-red configuration of Tezot, which is usually uh, the Azure Cannon deck. So Extinction's not stellar in this matchup, but I might clean up something at some point.
Uh, I'm just going to counter magic this. Basically, I want to like use my counter magic when just use all my resources efficiently. We might have to tap out at some point, so this kill will be good for cleaning up anything we tap out for. Uh, although that would have been able to kill it, so I guess that's a reason to not do that. So let's play our blood shard out. Revel in with the follow. Welcome to the stream. Sure, have your cantrip. What's the normal champion for this deck's hero power do? If for three charges, it puts three spider eggs into your opponent's decks, which are just 1-1 one, one unblockables that cost two. So, double tunneler. One of these is probably a five. Th usually these are five twos. I guess they could hypothetically be Reese's. For TG old music. So there's the Azure Fate Sorceress. So we need a we need a Fentio to get our combo going. Hold on one second. Jakey boy, what is wrong? What is wrong? One second, I have to put a toddler to bed. I guess we're just passing back. No, we don't play music because if you play music on Twitch, you get your archives muted, and I like to export my archives to YouTube. <laughs> yeah, normally I let him watch. Like, he goes down for his nap about 2 o'clock, and like I let him watch TV for a half hour while I start the stream, and then after... My first match, I go and put him to bed, but he just, uh, he's a little cranky today. So we can go down a little bit early. My youngest was already sleeping here until about a half hour ago. Well, he... He doesn't climb out of his... He's two, but he hasn't figured out that he could climb out of his crib yet. So if you just lay him down in his crib and put the blanket on him, he goes to bed. Sometimes he fusses for a minute or two, but... And by fuss, I mean scream, but... You know. Alright, so if this is a 5-2, I think one of the questions becomes... It might have been possible that we wanted to like jazz your fate here so that way we can block the 5 2 when it comes off. Uh, the things hanging from the door are uh, uh, pool noodles. Yeah, not a problem, X. So, I. I I'm not going to run the Azure Fade out because it uh, it's just a 2-2. That's not that great either. Um, we're just going to play this out for the charge for now. We don't get... Oh, we do have it. Sweet. So we're going to put some eggs into our opponent's deck. I forgot this counts as a Ven. All right. So that's a uh, resource that if we have a Ven, which this is a Ven, we can get either of our two thresholds or put some eggs into our opponent's deck. 